Hello everyone, and welcome to another one of Miss Courtney Olivia's Wizard 101 videos. Um, and today, um, I found this neat trick. I don't know if you noticed, but my uh, plots of enchanted medium soil are floating. And um, I know she probably doesn't watch my videos, but thanks to Laura Ashley. I um, found out this pretty neat trick. Um, yes, I'm on Carrick right now. Um, he is my planter, um, and I realize that since I'm not going to be buying um, a lot of crowns anymore, I need a new way to make mega snack packs. And um, thanks to Esme, um, aka Wizard101 Extreme on YouTube, she said that if you buy prickly bear cactuses, um, they always, or they mostly give off, um, what do you call them, uh, mega snack, um, well, mega snacks. So I thought, you know, maybe I should, uh, invest in this and, um, start a whole gardening thing here. Um, so I thought that this is a really neat way to save energy and get a lot of pet snacks. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, for some reason, Laura is able to get a third plot of land just beneath the second one, but for some reason I'm not able to do it. Um, until she's back on, um, which she was on today, I just it just blew me off my mind. I wasn't thinking enough to ask her, but um, I'll be doing three plots of land. So there's going to be one plot of land on top, one in the middle, and then one on the ground. But I'm going to show you how to do it first. So what you'll need um, is four boxes, or they have to be the dark crates. The other crates won't work. So the dark wood crates, I need four of those. And you need a regular um, bed, like this one. Um, so what you do is you take the... Let me back up a little bit. You're going to go into place object mode, and you're going to get your crates. And as you can tell, they can fit underneath here um, pretty well. So, and it probably takes you a little while to know where to place them. So I'm going to place these here, just so I can get my plot of land, or my plot of um, enchanted soil right here. Um, so then you're going to get the enchanted medium soil. And as you can tell, it doesn't look like it wants to go up. So that means I placed my boxes wrong. Um, so you'll need to place these here better. I think it's actually... You no, know, it has to be right here. Um, we'll just move over a bit, I guess. I'm not quite sure why this isn't working. It was working before. But I guess sometimes it can get a little stingy, so. Uh, let's see. Let's try this way. Continuing in soil. There we go. I just put the boxes on wrong. Okay, so you're going to click yes for the enchanted medium soil. And then that's going to put on the boxes. And then you're going to go back into place object mode and you're going to move the boxes out of the way. Um, that way you have room to put your bed. So you're going to grab the bed and you're going to put the bed, I think right here. Um, so see how it's on a lot of plots of land. Or plots of, I keep saying plots of land. Plots of soil. So you're going to go back to the ancient to medium soil and you're going to place it on. Oh, did I put this bed on wrong again? So you really have to know where you're going to put the plot of soil here. It might not... So I think that's too close. So for some reason I can't... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, then you're going to go back to the plots of land. You're going to put it on top of the bed like this. And it's going to plot it on the bed. Um, there was a way that Laura did it. She used a, um, a low square table to try and put the other, um, 
put the other plot of land underneath it, but for some reason I just can't get it to go straight. Um, I'm not really sure why. I mean, I guess I could try it again. Um, but I doubt it'll work, just because I can't get the... Yeah, see how it's kind of like off? It's like totally off. So I don't really know how to get that to work, so... And you can't put it anywhere else on the square table. So I don't know if I'm using the wrong table. Um, but I'm not going to deal with that right now. Oh, my phone. Okay. Oh, gosh. So then, you can also put the plot of soil underneath these. Um, like... Underneath this one. I think that's square, yeah. I'm going to plot that. And the cool thing about this is you can put the seeds... Um, on any plot of soil, even if they're like that. So I'll go to my seeds, and I'll go to my prickly bear cactus, and you can see if it's there, there, or down there. Um, if I had another plot of land to go right there, that'd be really neat, but they won't work. So I'll have to do three by three. Um, and I obviously need more prickly bear cactuses, but I need to go farm to get more money because I have no money. Um, anyway, that is a quick. Thing on how to float your um, plants. Obviously, it's not really um, foolproof yet, but usually, when you are wanting to use a large square like this, I can get all of them at one time, and it saves energy and it saves, um, well, it also helps you to collect your plants faster. Um, there's another trick where you can. Um, <sighs> Let your plant um, mature, um, but not like work with them, so they'll die and then regrow again, so it can save you uh, money. But I don't think that works for prickly bear cactuses because um, in order to get the mega snacks, you need to keep you need to harvest them at elder. Um, I think anyway. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but that's what I hear. But you can let them die a little bit off. And then once they die and you go back to um, juvenate them again, they'll come back alive and you can get more um, snacks and stuff from that. However, I don't know if that's true or not. But um, Anyway, that is my um, quick trip thingamabob. I gotta go um, farm because... And I just used one. Um, yeah, so that is my uh, trick to... Plot, um, um, floating, I guess. Um, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Um, if you liked the video, like it. If you didn't, I don't really know why you didn't, but, um, if you haven't subscribed to me, subscribe to me. I really like subscribers. I really like friends. Um, please do not beg for any of my stuff. I do not like that. And, um, with that, I will see you guys. I'm actually going to be pretty busy this weekend. So this might be the only video I'm doing. Um, sorry, but, you know, college is pretty stressful. But if I don't see you guys, um, I'll probably post another one next weekend. I'm not sure yet. But um, if I don't see you guys, I hope you have an awesome Halloween and an awesome October. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!